Hi folks, hope you're okay today. I want to just share another scripture with you. Just to encourage you today in the Word of God. <clears throat> Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul and he leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Ye though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoints my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Today the Lord goes with you. Whatever your burden, whatever your problem today, whatever your challenge today, the shepherd of your soul, Jesus Christ, is with you. Just think of this, the devil is no shepherd. The devil does not look after his own. The devil does not care for his flock, but Jesus cares for his flock. Jesus suffered for his flock. Jesus died for his flock. Jesus gave his life for his flock. And Jesus longs for his flock to follow him. And you are part of that flock today. So walk with him and know that he goes with you right now, cares for you, loves you, surrounds you with his comfort and care. And though it might be hard and difficult, and though you might wonder why, remember this, the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me in green beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Ye though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoints my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Jesus said in the Bible, once in the Gospel of John, be not afraid, it is I. Be not afraid, it is I. If you look at Isaiah 40, Isaiah 40 verse 10. Isaiah 40 verse 10, I think it is. Behold, the Lord God will come with strong hand and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward with him and his work before him. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with young. He will carry you. He will help you right now. You might not see your way forward. You might not understand what is happening to you. But he carries you right now. He carries you right now. He's carrying you. Comfort ye, comfort you, says Isaiah 40, verse 1. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, says the Lord. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry unto her. That her way, wayfarer is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned for. She hath received for the Lord's hand double for all her sins. Verse 29, he give power to the faint, to those who have no might, he creates strength. Even you shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount upon the wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Wait upon the Lord, and he will give you strength. Wait upon the Lord and he will revive you. Wait upon the Lord and he will give you all that you need. Wait upon the Lord and he will give you the strength that you need at this time. The Lord is my shepherd. He's taken you this far and he will lead you on. So keep your eyes fixed upon him. Not your eyes fixed upon the problems. Not your eyes fixed upon what people think. Not your eyes fixing on everything around you, but fix your eyes upon Jesus Christ and look to him. For he is the shepherd of your soul and he guides you and loves you and he is with you right now. God bless.